Hey folks, I just want to show you one of my first cells. It's the peg with the um, the peg solid state electrolyte mixed with the copper oxide I exper experimented with back in the spring here. And it's one of the most powerful cells that still work well. Like I said, the flat designs work better because um, the closer, the more you can sandwich it, the more power you get out of them. And very long lasting because this is uh, near March and April and it's running the clock very powerful sometimes it even reset a few times as it's overpowering it it's coming in at over 1.5 volts with just this flat cell here so um, this is something else I'm doing still waiting for this part here to crystallize I just want to try this just waiting patiently just another cell I'm doing all these crystal experiments here but I thought I'd take out this old cell here that I had for you know many weeks and um, it's still working great and it's been in storage not doing anything literally disconnected for weeks and months and it's still putting out a strong voltage so very good for that one, very similar to the one I had in the cup of the black stuff, but instead I put a paste, I layered it in between the carbon, and I put a little base here with just hot glue, a square around there to just lay it there to give it that slight spacing. They look shorted out, but they're not, see? If you look closely here, if I can get there, you see the glue there all around. So there, it's that sandwich, which is just a few you know, maybe uh, one eighth of an inch at the most. So people were wondering about different designs. I tend to do the cupcake, but when you lay them flat like this, you get more current out of them and more efficiency. And of course, more of a capacitive effect. just want to show you that and for a few minutes anyway to show you that it's very consistent we just have the clock going here on the magnesium on one side and the carbon on the other So yeah, just thought I'd show you folks this, and um, yeah, until next time, thank you for watching.